Okay, once you have chosen um, from your top two, from your project planning, you have to choose one of the top two that you had. So um, I have a couple items here. I have a Q-tip, I have the clothespin, and then I have this one. Um, now this one's gonna be a little bit hard to do because you would need to have it all inset like that. So this would be like the high relief that we talked about in class for sculpture. Um, and then the rest would be freestanding. Um, you can do that one. This one's kind of simple, um, but you need to have your object in hand because you're gonna have a ruler. So for this part, part one, you need a ruler for this. Um, what you're going to do is you're going to draw um, three different viewpoints. You're gonna draw from the top, you're gonna draw from the side, and you're gonna draw from the front. So for this object, I'm gonna show that this, this part is the top, okay? And then this part is gonna be the side, and then this part is gonna be the front of it. So those are my three different drawings. So first I'm gonna sketch it out. So I look at my object and then, so for the top, it's gonna to be about like this. So this goes inset. So I'm gonna draw little grooves there so I know it goes that way. This is the top of it. And then this, is the bottom. If you want to be super precise, you can, um, and then here there's a little metal piece. So I'm going to put that and I'm going to note this here and then note that this comes off about around the middle eraser. When you take your measurements, it'll be easier to mark these things but I just wanted to make the metal part so you guys see that is the top so I'm going to mark it as top okay then I'm going to do one from the side so I'm going to turn it like this and I'm just going to do side right here and make it right underneath because the top should be the same length as the side. So I'm going to do my drawing like that. I'm just going to do my sketch out right here to make sure that it's about the same size. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it off. Okay, so this, that metal ring is going to be in the center here. So I'm going to make sure it's right here. I'm going to do this number here and then go down right here where it would close here. And then I have a little hump that it goes in. This one comes out. This one goes up just a little bit and this way, it's about the middle. And then this, a little notch, that way, that way, this way. Here. It's almost looking there. And then we have this. And then this. Okay, so I have my side view. See, same length. Um, and then you're going to do it from the front. So I'm going to look at it like this. And what the front's going to do also, it's going to help you see the form part to see if sides go in or they stay um, straight up and down. Um, Okay, so this is my front. That's what I see from the front. And it does kind of go in a little bit right there. Okay, so now I'm gonna make all the measurements. So you draw out the front and then you're gonna make measurements. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the length of it. 
So the length is two and seven eighths. Or no, one and seven eighths, the length. So I usually just do it on the um, calculator. And seven eighths is 0.875. So it's 1.875. And then I do, okay, so if it's 1.875, I did 7 eighths because it was, uh, that's what it was on the ruler. Um, it was the last bigger mark towards the number 2, and that's how you know it's 7 eighths. The ones that are smaller are sixteenths. So these numbers are ace. If you get confused, you can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then go on, um, through that, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's 16th. So one over 16 is 0 0.0625. So it's 625. Okay. So 0 0.06, let me write that again. 1.0625. You don't really have to do any math. That's the length of it. Um, and what that means. No, that's not right. Oh, so there's eight of them. Hold on. No, that was right. My first one was right. 1.875. Okay, sorry. 1.875. So what you do is, if you're going to times it by 10, all you do is move the decimal. So it's actually going to be 18 and three quarter inches because 0.75 is three quarters. So 18 and three quarter inches is what you're gonna have. That's how long it is. So it's gonna be about a foot and a half long um, when I construct it. Um, so that's the whole length, but then you're gonna measure all these other little parts. So this is gonna be dependent upon the object that you select. So I measure how long it is, and I also measure like um, how wide it is here. That looks like, so I measured how long it was. I'm gonna measure how wide it is. It's a quarter of an inch, so that's easy. It's gonna be two and a half, so a quarter of an inch wide this way. You look at my paper, it's a quarter of an inch, 0.25. That means that it's two and a half inches if you move the decimal point. So it's gonna be two and a half inches width. So what you're gonna do with this, your new, I want you to put actual figures and write what the actual size of the object is here with this drawing. Then I want you to put times 10 size, times 10 size. So you're gonna draw this again and make it all neat. So you would draw it again. I'm drawing this kind of fast. So you would draw this again with your measurements and have it be, okay, so this is 2.5 inches. This one's gonna be 18.75 inches long. So see how that is? And then I'm going to measure this section and I'm gonna measure this section. So really, if you measure one section and then minus it by the 18.75, 18.75, that's gonna give you your total to make sure it's lined up and correct. Um, that way, all these little spaces, this one, this one, this one needs to be measured. The metal needs to be measured. How long is that? Um, the top, like how tall it is, needs to be measured. It should match something like this, but it's not. So like, let's look at this. 
this is thinner than it is tall. So if we make a measurement from that, you can see that each of these pieces, each of these pieces is a quarter inch wide. So this is going to total a half an inch, 0.5 inches. So when you get it to here, the side view, this one, I'm doing this really quickly for demo purposes, but this way is going to be five inches because each one of these pieces will be two and a half inches wide, two and a half inches wide. That's um, two and a half inches wide because they're all a quarter inch. So hopefully that makes sense. Um, when you measure the top and the actual figures, all you do is move the decimal place over um, and then you can see how to do that um, once you have this measurement. So if it's 0.5, then it would be five inches. If it's 1.875, it's 18.75 inches. Um, and then convert it that way. Do not use centimeters here. I mean, if it gets to the point where you have centimeters listed and your inches is really wonky, like it's, oh, it's going to be one and three eighths and you don't want to do the math and it lines up that it's like 12 centimeters instead, then you can use the centimeters, but you can't do the moving the decimal at all, you have to times it by 10 or just add another zero. So if it's 12 centimeters, it would be 120 centimeters. So hopefully that works in explaining the um, size and what you would have to do for your actual figure and the 10 times the size section. And you don't have to, you can do this on graph paper if you want, or you can just do it like I did on just a plain white sheet of paper. Um, but make sure you have those measurements down and every little bit of things measured. So like if your object's a Q-tip, you're gonna have to measure how long the stick is and then how wide the cotton ball is here. So that one's a little bit different. This one's rounded. It doesn't need to have, you have a top, which would be this. And then you have a side. You don't need a front because it's a cylinder. So you really only have two views for this because it's the same. This one would be different. You would have the top here, the side here, and then the front here where you have all this stuff in here. So pay attention to what object you have. If you have questions about the object, talk to me about it in class while we're doing this work.